large or number, and, and then just a little bit easier with the smaller number. Okay, and so we get a volume of what? 560, right. And an easy way to look at this is 7 times 8 is 56, right? 56 and 10, you just add a 0. Okay, so that makes it a little easier doing it that way. And our units is going to be yards, 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 and yards. Cubed, right. Volume are units cubed. Okay, think of it this way. Let's say you've got a, a yard, a backyard, and you want to mow that backyard, right? So you're going to mow it across, and so you cover an entire what <coughs> backyard area, right? Now, if you wanted to put a fence around that backyard, that's perimeter, right? Now, let's say you want to dig that yard up and put a pool in there. Now, what you're doing is you're taking area. All volume is, is area times height. That's all volume is, area times height. So no matter what shape you have for area, <coughs> you add height to it, now all of a sudden that's volume. Okay. So that's kind of easy. Any questions with that? Okay. All right. Let's say that we wanted to find. So what does that mean? Well, here's our cube, right? And we have two and a half inches, right? For soft. Well, what, what really does that mean? If that size is two and a half, what does that tell you about the other size? Same length. They're all two and a half, right? Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. They're all two and a half. All, all the sides are two and a half. Okay, and, and this is this is inches. So whether you say the volume of a cube is, and we're going to go ahead and convert this to an improper fraction, right? So that'll give us five over two, right? Inches. So whether you say five over two. Inches <coughs> cubed, or you say um, length times if, whether you say volume equals to s cubed, or whether you say volume equals to length times width times the height. You know, I don't. It doesn't matter to me. You can do it either way. All right. So you could put five halves times five halves times five halves if you wanted to. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and do it 5 halves cubed. All right? So that means we have to do what? Here. You have to, careful now, you're, you're, what are we going to do with this exponent? Times this 5. 5, 2, 3, 3 times. 3 times, yeah. Yeah, you're going to get. What's going to get the cube here? The 5 is. Anything else? The 2, right? So this would be 5 cubed. 5 inches cubed. Over 
over 2 cubed. So that means, what is that telling us? This is telling us that we are doing what with the 5? Multiplying 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, right? You've got to be careful, right? Because we're multiplying 5 times itself 3 times, right? So that means we're going to do, that means 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is going to be 1, 25, right? And you may, if you have to, you know, write it off to the side. 5 times 5 is 25, and then times 5 again, and then it's 125. All right, if you have to do that, you know, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Inches. And that's going to be, what's our unit? Cubed over 2 times 2, 8, 4 times 2, 8. Right, I heard somebody say 8. Good. Okay? And so, to get our, um, if, we, if we wanted to, 8, you know, we could divide 8 into 125. Right? <coughs> it goes into 12 one time, right? And so that's going to be what? Four. Uh, four. So now that's going to be 8 divided into 45, how many? Five. Five, right? That's going to be 40. And so we're going to have the remainder of five, right? So this is 15 and five. Eights, right? Fifteen and five eighths inches cubed. 